I feel like I'm a child of the union, that I really believe we are a family and we're better together. And I think the best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. I think she's... I think... difficult when she's first minister though. She's, she's got a democratically elected position yeah, just as you would. I'm sorry she's an attention seeker Seb that's what she is and what we need to do is show the people of Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales what we are delivering for them and making sure that all of our government policies apply right across the United Kingdom you know I was very proud to lift the whiskey tariffs and I don't think I've ever been more popular than I was in Mather's Bar in Edinburgh the night that I was there with a bunch of whiskey distillers, he said this had made a huge biz difference to their business. They know it was now 25% cheaper for them to export their fantastic whiskey to the United States. And that is the kind of thing we need to be there. We need to be showing what we're delivering. And, you know, Nicola Sturgeon can sort of carry on talking about an independence referendum. We had the referendum in 2014. It was agreed it was once in a generation. I didn't realize a generation happened within 10 years. That doesn't make any sense. So we've got to call her out on that, but at the same time, really delivering for Scotland. So some of the policies I'm talking about, the investment zones, the free ports, we need to make sure they're delivered in Scotland too. So that's an absolute no to another independence referendum no, whenever you no, are Prime no. Minister.